welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here i go by lady t hairstyles and if you're returning hey lady t gang period okay guys just a quick psa all these videos were previously recorded around halloween time after i upload this then you'll get more current videos so all right enjoy the video bye what's up y'all not too much not too much i know it's been a while and i ain't been being consistent but your girl is back period 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 y'all know the holiday times is coming up today is actually halloween so um i don't really celebrate halloween like that y'all i do have a son and of course a baby girl on the way but i do have a son and he's really he likes halloween but he doesn't like people so he don't like going out trick-or-treating he don't like doing stuff like that we were supposed to go to the haunted house and um me being me um i did not get the tickets early enough like i did last year and all of the tickets are sold out um he doesn't know that yet and i'm like scrambling around right now to find like a haunted house where we could go ahead and get into for today but baby everything is sold out it is halloween night why would i not think that people would be going to the haunted houses on halloween night so yeah so i'm trying to figure out something to do with him if i can't find out anything i know there's this car wash it's like a spooky car wash you could drive through and it's like a little haunted house we may do that but i'm really trying to find him something more to do so i'll take you guys on along on that journey today just to you know figure that situation out I don't know what we're doing. If not, we're definitely going to watch. I don't like scary movies, but I promised him that I will watch a spooky movie with him tonight. Pop some popcorn, get some treats, snacks, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're going to do something tonight with him. Like, you know, so um, I'm home. As y'all can see, I'm in the house. I am not at the hair salon on Halloween. I don't know why. I just wasn't booked today. Um, and granted, it's been really slow for me. Not really slow, but it's not. It hasn't been as busy as it used to be and i honestly think truthfully it's three reasons why like literally three reasons why um i haven't been solid booked like that in a while is because one um it's a recession times is hard for people and me like you know bills is billing you know life is lifing period um and then like not just for me but for other people too their bills is billing um life is life and for them inflation is real and another thing is my prices like i went up on my prices because i feel like i know my worth i know my worth i know my work is good and it is what it is like you know everything else is going up i have to i can't stay still with my prices when everything else in the world is going up i have to set my prices accordingly for me to live in the new era of life of everything else going up so people have to just gradually get with the times if they can't then you know they have to go find cheaper so and that's understandable you know what i mean it's really understandable i'm not hating i'm not mad it's just that i'm gonna you know keep continuing to have my multiple streams of income as well so your girl has been looking for a work from home job like i do not want to go into nobody's office i don't want to go into anybody's establishment even though i do have an interview tomorrow y'all i don't know if i'm gonna take y'all along i should take y'all along on that interview rena going on an interview after almost 60 years of working for herself so i am going on a call center it's like a little call center um job and it's like in person and it's not too far from my house like it's literally near my house um where i live so that's gonna be like you know something i don't know like it's gonna be my first time working somewhere where i live like I don't know it's weird i don't know i don't even know if i'm wasting in people time y'all but i do have an interview i really don't want to work in the office they did say they have an option to be hybrid so that was the reason why i really took the interview so if i could be hybrid if i could work in there sometimes and then work from home sometimes that's fine especially when it's only like a couple minutes from my house so yeah y'all i've been working on trying to get multiple streams of income i have a baby girl on the way the holiday time is approaching which i really am not that big into the holiday spirit or wanting to spend a lot of money this year because of how inflation is and my son don't really need much he has everything he has like multiple game systems the most he would need is clothes because he's growing out of them sneakers and clothes but everything else he has is jewelry toys games he has everything y'all 
And my baby girl, of course, she and believe it or not, she has a lot of stuff too. Like a lot of people have been supporting her off of the registry. We appreciate y'all so 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 much. Y'all don't even know how dear to our heart that is. Like y'all really have stood on that. It takes a village, and y'all really holding your girls down. And we love that for for us and for y'all. Thank y'all so much. But we also brought her a lot of stuff too to prepare for this pregnancy. So we have lots of stuff, y'all. I don't even know who the hell can help me put all this shit together. But anywho, um, yeah, so it's just that I'm not into the holiday season like that. So I'm not really too tough, like big on spending a bunch for Christmas, but still preparing for a baby and just, you know, buying new stuff for the house to make the house more fresh and clean and new and, you know, all cute and stuff for our baby girl to arrive. I just be needing more coins more coin so yes i've been going on interviews i'm just giving y'all like this life update because i have time today i have time on my hands to actually sit still and talk to y'all so if it seemed like i'm talking all over the place it's because i got so much in my head that i want to share with you guys like because i just freaking love y'all my little support system that i that i have here on youtube yes i only have a thousand sub subbies but out of that thousand subbies i do have some of you guys that are really true to the game like y'all really support me in person y'all be talking to me y'all be inboxing me and texting me and stuff like i really love that for me y'all understand period but um that's why I get out here and I kind of like use this as like my video diary type of thing and like kind of just chit chat with you so what's the next thing on the agenda um I got that out the way I told you guys um I don't know when you're gonna see this vlog but I'm literally exporting a vlog right now let me show you guys real quick I'm literally exporting this vlog right here this is about to go up this is a almost a hour it is the hour long vlog y'all so if y'all have not watched this vlog that's going up right now, go watch it. Because this is going to be up after this one. So go watch this vlog, y'all. It's an hour long. Show your girl some love. It's a lot of stuff in that video. Um, I think I've shot this video over like two weeks span of time. So y'all go show that vlog some love. Period. Show that vlog lots of love. And if you have not been caught up on all my other vlogs, go and catch up on those vlogs too, y'all. Um, what else? So, um, this morning I was up. I didn't go to school. I didn't work today. So my wife brought my son to school. She has my car because her car was acting up, y'all. It was doing like this smoking thing. And thank God the mechanic came this morning since I'm home from work. The mechanic came this morning. I should have picked the camera up to show y'all, but I didn't. But he came this morning. He finally found the reason why her car is smoking. She has a leak. So I went to AutoZone. She sent me the money. I went to AutoZone and I purchased her part for her. And that we had to order it because they didn't have it in store. So they had to order it from another store. And um, once they go get it from that store, it'll be back to the place by four o'clock. I'll take you guys along with me to go get that part. Uh, we got to go pick it up at four o'clock. And of course, it's Halloween. So the mechanic can't do it today. He got to take his kids trick or treating. So he said tomorrow he's going to pull up and he's going to put that part in my wife's car. So my wife has my car right now and she took my son to school and she went to work. And I'm just going to wait for them to come home later. And then we'll enjoy all of those Halloween festivities. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on so far in my life. Um, y'all, as y'all seen in the, the y'all gonna see in the last video, we did have a baby checkup. Um, uh, my wife has been sick, y'all. She has been super sick. She's feeling way better now from the last video that y'all seen. She's feeling way, way, way better. Um, she's doing better. Baby girl is doing better. Um, we actually went to the hospital. I didn't shoot any, did I get any of that footage? I don't think so. I don't think so. I got to check my in my phone, but um, I didn't have my camera with me. So I don't think I shot any of the footage with her being in the hospital. But she went to the hospital. We stood at the hospital from 8 a.m. in the morning to 4.30 p.m. that day. We stayed in the hospital with them checking on my wife. It was a lot. Like, what I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot but um she's doing good she's doing perfect um the baby girl she's fine she just cutting up and my wife's starting to feel this pregnancy y'all actually today is the day it marks on halloween day she is 26 weeks y'all this is happening so fast it's literally happening so fast like literally in like three months we're gonna have a baby girl 
was it three months? November, December, because November starts tomorrow. So yeah, November, December, January, February, four months, like three and a half, three, not even three and a quarter. Like I'm gonna say just three months, three months. We are going to have a baby girl in this house screaming her little head off, crying and being so cute. I'm so excited, y'all. I still haven't wrapped my head around, Rena, you about to be changing diapers again. After 11 years, my son is going to be, matter of fact, 12 years because my son's going to be 12 this December. So after 12 years, I'm going to be changing diapers again. What was I thinking? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 y'all. But I'm excited. I'm super excited to be doing it again. And I finally have a baby girl this time. So I'm excited about everything that's to come, y'all. And I can't wait to take y'all along that journey. Period. All my internet aunties and uncles. I know y'all cannot wait to see the baby because I can't wait to see baby girl's face. But yeah, period. Um, I'm not going to keep talking y'all ears off unless y'all want me to. If y'all like these, sit down and me tell y'all my business. Let me know because I'll stop and I'll start doing some more videos like this. Mm-hmm. Period. But um, yeah, so right now I'm not doing much. I just finished editing that video. Um, I actually was watching a YouTube girly that I be watching. She's a young girl, she's a young mom. I I usually go spiral down the nesting videos, getting prepared for a baby. Um, just to get myself in that mindset. Of course, I've done it before, y'all. I know what to do, what's to be expected. But I still spiral down these videos on YouTube because I like to watch them. So I just ran across a little young mom and she was doing like a day in the life of a single mom. Uh, of course, I'm not a single mom, but it just came across my channel and I've been watching her. And I love the way she raises her baby girl and, you know, the different things she does with her baby girl. And it's good to watch like because after having a baby 12 years ago, there's so many new things that they have out now that they didn't have 12 years ago. So to see the younger generation come up, raise their kids and use all, utilize all these new things that's out for children now and just getting the perspective, just basically staying teachable. I'm a person that likes to stay teachable. So just watching these different vlogs and these different couples and these different um, people raise their kids now, I'm just seeing like, everything that's new is being teachable to all the new things that's to come with having a baby girl because I've never had a daughter. I had a son. I know it's like raising the same thing, but like raising a daughter is kind of a little bit different. The emotions is different. Her body parts are different. And it's just different things that you got to buy for a little girl that you don't have to buy for a boy. So watching these videos and watching them raise their daughters are very informative to me so that is what i'm doing right now i have went and got me some breakfast this morning from duncan i <laughs> i'm laughing because my wife said what's up with you with all these points now now you just be using coupons and points and stuff like that i said well i'm at that age where i love my coupons i love my points and i love free stuff so i had accumulated like 1200 points from Dunkin' donuts i sure did y'all better get them apps them apps be having free food free points and free stuff like that so i had 1200 points i got a free drink and I got free food, period, this morning. All I did was order my food. They scanned my app, and I got everything free, and I drove off because I accumulated them points from going from Dunkin'. So when you don't be having your little coins and you don't got enough coins to go get you some stuff, baby, them points come in handy, period. I'm not saying I didn't have anything to get some stuff, but, baby, I like free stuff, period. But anywho, so I had my breakfast this morning. Um, I'm just chilling, y'all. I'm really, like, chilling. Um, if I think of some more stuff, I'll probably get back on camera. But right now, I'm just chilling and I'm watching my vlogs. And I'll get back on later. I'm going to get up later and I'm going to do some self-care. I did my hair last night too, y'all. I did a quick weave on um, TikTok Live. I'm trying to... If anybody know how to get your live video and save it off of TikTok, let me know and comment down below or inbox me on Instagram and let me know how I can get my live video from there so I can upload it on here with you guys um but I did a live video of doing a whole quick weave in my hair my hair is done underneath this bonnet it came out super stinking cute I posted a picture I'll post a picture here so you can see it too I posted it on Facebook if y'all not following me on my Facebook what are y'all doing I post up there every single day I don't miss a post I get paid over there on Facebook just to post content so baby y'all go check out that content and run it up comment like on the there you know share my post on facebook that helps me get my coin 
period but anywho I'm, i posted a picture on my wall on facebook so if y'all want to go ahead over there and check it out it's tarina burgos the same name that's on youtube is the same name on my facebook y'all go over there and check out the pictures of my hair and i also put one here too y'all so period i did my quick weave last night um i'm got this little halloween shirt that uh, me and my wife had got from walmart i think they were like three or four dollars we got um two halloween shirts two pumpkins on it we're gonna wear that tonight um when we go out to like the haunted houses or the trunk or treats or whatever i'm gonna put on my orange shirt and my black um sweatpants and then my son he has just like an all black sweatsuit with like a purge mask like he got a light up purge mask he didn't want a costume that's what he wanted to wear he's at that big age where he don't want a costume he just want to kind of make his costume so he got like a all black suit a really dope mask and it looked really scary so yeah that's what we're doing tonight and then um i'll pick up the camera later i keep saying i'm gonna get off and i keep talking but hmm. all right y'all bye <laughs> all right y'all so wifey's home this is my little shirt that we're wearing to look festive hey show them your shirt look at the baby in here yes period i can't wait till next year to dress my daughter up period y'all oh my god we was just in here talking about what we gonna be and stuff jameer he's getting his little costume together now you know he's older guys so he didn't Ne necessarily wear a costume but this is like what he put together we got to turn the lights off so we could get y'all a show and it will show you more when we're out and about too y'all so yeah, put it I on can't, i can't show you the whole costume right now so. go ahead go ahead show i can't show him the whole costume right now boy come on i can't if you don't get over here and turn that light on so i can turn this light off and show them your costume real quick her up oh that took all right okay this is my baby's costume. He has on all black and he has a mask on. Come closer so they can see the mask. It's kind of blurry. Stop. Stop making it blink. Just make it solid. That's just the mask solid right there, y'all. Y'all see the mask? Period. Now, this is basically what he has on. He has the mask on and he got an all black sweatsuit. He's gonna, he got all black sweatsuit with the mask. He looks super cute, y'all. We got all black gloves. I didn't know you had all black gloves. Where's Key at? Okay. Period, y'all. So, we're here. Come on, King. Eat. So, I just curled my hair, y'all. He coming, babe. So, I just curled my hair. Period. It looks good. I just had it pinned up because, yeah. Can we, um, can we stop and get some another, and get, um, black gloves? You don't have another one? You should. Oh, this is my hair. I curled up my hair, y'all. I did this quick weave yesterday. I was telling y'all about, baby, I think I'm in love with quick weaves. Here he is. But we're about to go take some pictures as well, y'all, because I need pictures of my family every year for Halloween and for the fall. So I'll be back on once we leave the house, y'all. <laughs> what? What'd you say? You told him to do what? Go say trick or treat. Why? Because he just asked me for Skittles. They got Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> Mirror don't like trick or treat. Oh, what? You know when your weave gets stuck to your lip gloss? Come on, this one I got your picture at. What you you what you put me as? Where do you find these terrible pictures of us at? It's the Queen B for me. He said, well, what the B stand for? He said, no, B-E-E. -E. <laughs> <laughs> my son got me stored in his phone under Queen B, y'all. So I said, what that B stand for? He said, no, ma, B-E-E. -E. <laughs> so I must mean Bumblebee, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> what does it stand for? A Bumblebee. Mm, why am I the Queen Bumblebee? Look at this. No, I don't want them to see my number. No, I'm, look. Because I got the yellow one? Mm-hmm. So now I look like a big B. Never <laughs> 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 yeah, sting the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, let us go. I don't even know where we going yet, but I'm going to get back on and let y'all know. Bye. Get on that goddamn truck. Oh, why is my... Hey guys, good morning. So I am all ready and dressed for my interview. I told you guys yesterday that I have an interview today and I am super freaking nervous, y'all. But I look cute. I got my little interview outfit on. I got my little pea coat. I'm just giving important and like business casual. Like your girl cleans it up real nice 
from just doing here to like actually getting in the field so um yeah y'all pray for me um i'm driving there now i'm about 30 minutes early but you know if you go on time then you're late so your girl is trying to be early to this interview so again y'all pray for me it is office work um something that i was into before i started like really getting into like doing here and being my own entrepreneur so definitely i'm trying to go back into that field for a little bit this one is actually in the office what i'm actually looking for is work from home um i'm definitely going to entertain this one because it doesn't seem like a lot of work what we'll see um and that, like i told you they said they had hybrid so it's like really room for me to kind of be remote and go into the office so we're gonna go see what they talking about period um if they talking good and they talking a good amount of money then baby your girl is all ears okay so yeah so ooh, what was that public health okay i thought he was the cops <laughs> okay but let me go ahead and get off this camera and get to this interview and once i get there and pull up i'll get back on and chit chat with y'all all right y'all right, so i just made it and it is time to go in y'all i'm not of course gonna bring the camera but i'll be out <sighs> Oof, i'll be out in a minute and i'll tell y'all how it went i'm super nervous pray for me i'll be back bye y'all please send help my wife is acting like a crazy woman Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I know I've probably been vlogging more stuff, so I'm gonna add that to this vlog just so we can, you know, finish it up. But it's much days later. It's way, 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 way later. But, um, where did I stop in the last vlog? I think the last thing that I talked, you hear her talking junk in the background, y'all? The last thing I stopped on in the vlog, y'all, I was talking about going to an interview. Um, I actually got the job, y'all. I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Go turn that light off, too. So I actually had got the job um, offer. I got the job. I was super excited about it. I'm about to fall down the stairs, y'all. But, um, yeah, so that job was at a um, call center company. And I don't want y'all to see where my, my apartment number but yeah, I actually had got the job, y'all. And um, I'm super excited about that. Um, but I unfortunately did not take the job offer. Like, I, I mean, I did take the job offer, but because I ended up going to another interview for a better paying job. And I got that job too, y'all. Literally, I went yesterday to this job and I got the job literally instantly on the spot. I went in, just to give y'all a little background, I went in for the first interview. Um, oh, I can't breathe, but um, I went in for the first interview and I aced that interview. I literally walked out the door. I got in my car. I rode like maybe five to 10 minutes down the street and the lady calls me on my phone like, hey, would you be willing to come into a second interview in like 30 minutes i'm like hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah i'll come into the interview so i ended up coming in for the second interview and the lady interviewed me and gave me the job on the spot y'all literally they did my urine test they did my background check they did all of that well i'm still kind of waiting for the background check which should be clear because your girl's not a criminal but um, I waited for my background check to come back and then they have to do a blood test because where I'm working at is in a urgent care. I'm going to be an urgent care um, receptionist. So an admin of, um, receptionist at an urgent care place. So I'm super excited about that, y'all. Um, and I know y'all probably wondering, like, are you still going to be doing here? Are you going to be doing that? Yes, your girl will still be doing here. The urgent care place is three days out of a week from um, 8 to 8 p.m. So I'll be working basically 36 hours in three days. So the other four days will be open completely to me doing hair still. Same time frame, you know, just still servicing my clients the same way that I always do. But for just three days, I will be going from the hair industry to make me a little bit of extra money on the side. I consider the job side money and then my doing hair by full time career career like because that's just what I love to do period so yeah y'all so your girl got a job this is going to be so crazy transitioning into working 
for somebody like so this is going to be really 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 hard but i'm going to get through it um and i'm going to take you guys along with me to transition through this i probably won't be doing it on my camera as much because i don't think i can bring my camera inside of the urgent care facility of course hipaa so she done turn her alarm on did she just check her car for her her heat she checked her pocket for her alarm we're not gonna talk about that but that's my wife y'all um she got attitude probably watch what she getting here y'all she gonna act a whole fool but that's just a little bit of a life update on what's going on with lady t period y'all say hi to pergo forget it don't say hi she has a freaking like she has been the utmost moody so she may or may not be on camera today because she'll be in the background you might even hear her talking junk but that baby is moody pray for me y'all send help send help jimmy aren't we acting a fool how you feel about her so far being pregnant send help. huh send help. <laughs> blink twice if you need help <laughs> the girl's been crazy but she coming back we don't talk about her in front of her because we love her shh, shh. we're just gonna act like we love her what we do love her you okay what he said was that piece on the floor what piece is on the floor is it a new one or the old one that new it's a piece out there yeah so probably the old one when the light is black yeah that's the old one they're both black i just want to know why the shit was open mm. <laughs> Maybe because he was going to come back and just get into it. You okay? And she's also not having a good day because her car is supposed to be fixed today. And the guy is like kind of playing games with getting it fixed. Um, I'm the one giving him the benefit of the doubt, but if he don't get my baby car fixed by tomorrow, then it's going to be turn up tea, period. I've been being cool, calm, collective. She's been the one spazzing out on the guy, but I've been being the voice of reason. But if he don't get it done by tomorrow, we're going to spaz. You walk, you rolled your eyes at him and you walked away from him as he was telling you what was going on. Because he was lying. But yes, that's what's been going on, y'all. So we're right now. What, what's going on now? Let me bring y'all to the present. I told y'all what was going on in the past. Give y'all a little update. Right now, we just hopped in the car. We just got ready. And we're, they have barbershop appointments. This morning, I woke up early in the morning, y'all, like around 8, 9 o'clock. And I took all of our laundry. But let me just tell y'all. One thing, I don't care how much money I got, how not rich I am. One luxury in life that I would always use when I need to. Is a wash and fold service. Amen. A motherfucking man. I will always use a wash and fold service because we have a lot of clothes. The lady literally, I dropped off five bags of laundry, y'all. She said, how many kids do you have, ma'am? It's only one, two, three. Throw her none of her fucking business. Wash the clothes. And that, how many kids you got? You got shit to do with her doing her job. Anywho, she asked me how many kids I got. I said, it's only three of us. I said, we just be busy, really busy throughout the week. And we don't be having time to do the laundry. So if anybody want to help y'all girl get a little portable washer and dryer, send your girl some Amazon gift cards, period. If you want to show me some love for the holiday season, send me some Amazon gift cards because, baby, we've been buying baby furniture. We didn't, we didn't buy all of that. We've been getting the baby girl right. So if y'all want to help your girl out, link down below <laughs> but anywho so i told her we've been just getting behind on our laundry so i dropped off five bags of laundry to this lady y'all five so that's what i did this morning right now i'm about to take them to their barber appointment but i think and i don't we're not gonna have time i was gonna take um go to, we're still gonna go to this um, um furniture store possibly we're gonna pull up on them and check out some furniture inside this store because they're having like a really big clearance sale and the girl want to go check it out so let's go. Let's get on the road. They got their appointment is not till 2:45. So no, it's gonna take us about till 2:30 to get there. So we might as well just leave now and go straight there. And then that donut good. Yep. Yeah. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs>
So y'all, we are now downtown Bridgeport and um, they their appointment is actually down here, but we about to go inside this little place down here that I've never ate in there before. We're about to go Tony, see what they got. The stick. It's good. What we going to do, Tonisha? Eat shit out of stick. Let's go, because you saying any fucking thing. <laughs> so we're about to go inside this place. She and lying, it's good. It's good? You think it's good? It is. He didn't say anything good. Yes, he do. No, Kids be like, it's so good. It's so good. I promise you. I promise you it's good. Okay, okay? Look, y'all. So this is the place right here. I don't know if y'all ever been. Let me know. Comment down below if you're from my hometown. If you ever had this place, it's called Funkau Funkala Americana. What it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's go. We about to see what they got, y'all. Come on. First time here. Baby, shut up. Okay, y'all. This what it's given. They got food over here. That rice look kind of right. They got some food here. They got some curry. The ribs look like they slap. Yeah, curry look terrible. Talk about people food. Yeah. It look kind of all right. They got a little salad over here. They got a little salad. Got so, what you want something, babe? You want something? <laughs> oh, they got fruit salad, y'all. Fruit salads and cakes and stuff. What, what drink? Oh, really? Oh, they got a deli. Oh, they got a deli where they make sandwiches and stuff? Period. Okay, okay. They got a soup bar right there. Who is? Since it's only Monday through Friday. Okay. Monday through Friday, it's the weekend. Okay, okay, okay. So they make their little fresh sandwiches. You think? Okay. They got a sushi bar. Hold up. Steakhouse. It's the steakhouse for me. It's closed down because we're closing now. Oh, okay. Y'all about to close? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dang, we can't get nothing. What time do you close? We get stuff on the buffet, whatever we have in the buffet. Oh, no. What do you want to get? I don't know yet. This is my first time here, so, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. When they're open, first open, yep. We'll try it again. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. All right, y'all, so that place was closing and all their food in the hot bar looked at old and nasty. And they probably got- do shit on the stick. Yeah, the stuff looked at nasty inside the hot bar, y'all, so I wasn't impressed with that. So, yeah. We didn't go in there. And the only other option that they actually have downtown Bridgeport is literally Dunkin' Donuts. So, I mean, they also have Queen Delights, which is a really, really, really good place. But... Turn it down. They take 45 minutes to an hour to make your food, and we don't have that. So... Operation Snack. I, well, I'm probably about to just go in our same pizza place that we go to every single time we come down here and they get their haircuts. I take them to this pizza place and we get a little slice and some this drink and we call it a day, which I don't really want that, but let's go. So we just made it down here to their bar barber shop. Period. Watch you still cutting somebody here, y'all. Absolutely still cutting somebody here. Oh, you do that. Oh. So tell me why, y'all, my wife, she's in there inside the barbershop. So tell me why she came down here to this Una Dose Vista place after I rode around Bridgeport for like 20 minutes. She was like, oh, I want pizza. No, she didn't say she wanted pizza. She said, I'm coming over here to use the bathroom. She came over here, seen the pizza, said it looked good. I said, you want a slice? She said, no, I don't want no pizza. Now she want pizza. So. So yeah, now we're in here getting pizza, y'all. So. Let's get a slice. Tell him this. Did he miss? Junior wants to not be on my team. Alright, y'all, 
Y'all, so they got they shapies done. Baby looking edged up and good. He running. He don't want me. He don't want to show y'all. He done ran the fuck across the street. Time about something hiding his cup. Forget him, y'all. We don't want to see his little boy himself. Belly bump, belly bump. Oh, it's getting little, baby. You see that bump, y'all? The kid's so big. It's a kid. Look at you. Come on, girl. We don't mess with Jameer. I shouldn't let him in the car. Show us the cut or you can't get in the car. Show us the cut or you can't get in my car. I'm not getting in the car. <laughs> He's so cute. Let me see the, oh, the fresh shape, <laughs> Yeah, ooh, don't look at my dirty car, y'all. I'm gonna yeah. go dirty. Thank you. All right. That's what y'all see that painting over there? That's cute. Look at that. That's really dope. That's some dope black art. I don't even know if the person that made it black, y'all, but we gonna call it black today. But anywho, ooh. All right, y'all, let me call y'all back. I done dropped my key, and now I gotta reach down. Now, don't act like y'all don't do that when y'all reach for something down in your car when you done dropped it. Everybody do that little, ugh, ugh. Whew. All right, so, so next stop, I need to get some. That was a lot. <laughs> so right. that's what we was talking about, but I seen you, you in the mirror talking shit. I was telling me, I said, look at her. She sure over there chatting it up. We was just talking about how he be talking too much. He be sitting but up he was in, We ain't say shit to that part. To that part? Mm -hmm. uh, what he said to you to make you talk? Um, he asked me that I liked the line. Like when he turned me to the mirror, he asked me that I like it. Like you straight. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right, because you know, you, you know, gotta make sure. And I was like, yeah, because I would have told you. And that's why I was telling him, like, I ain't really fucking nobody touching my head like that. And then that's when we got into it. He was like, yeah, because the first time he was sitting there, I'm like, yo, you good, like? <laughs> I was like, yeah, nigga, don't talk to me. Concentrate on what you need to concentrate on. Uh-uh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Where does go? I said, that's why she was making booking the appointments, because I didn't even know where you was at. I didn't even know who you was. I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to just go, because she kept saying, I promise you, I promise you, it's good, he good. You overdid your part because I ain't never even say nothing that yes, crazy. You did. Can you get that camera off me now? <laughs> Cause you just holding it there now. Just go. Bye. She aggravated. All right, bye, y'all. I'll be back on once we get to the next destination. The girl was crazy. Bye. Y'all, so this is the little viral store that's been on um, all over Facebook and all over TikTok that they're having a blowout clearance sale. They actually have the clearance sale tag there. We're about to go see what the fuck they got. They didn't lock my car door or nothing, y'all. They really think we live in the suburbs. Like well, We actually do. We do, but still. So then shut the fuck up. We actually do, but in the same sense, it's like we're not there now. So don't be leaving my goddamn car well, unlocked. Y'all, my car was unlocked all last night, y'all, because they really think we live in the suburbs. Okay, what happened to it? What? what happened to your car Nothing. It's still exactly. there. My point. I can't stand her, y'all. Let me clean my camera off. Let me show y'all some of the stuff. Somebody bought that red one. All right, let's see what they got. Yeah, come on. Brown in the hair, yep. Absolutely. That's nice. Sit down on it. This one ain't get bought. That ain't fifty dollars. Hello. Not the price you wanted. The purple one on sale. This one is cute. Fifty dollars. This is cute and comfortable. Yo, this is really fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah, we gonna need this one. I like it. I will get this motherfucker today if this is fifty dollars. Valued at fifty dollars, so it'll be a hundred dollars for each piece, right? This and this will be a hundred dollars. This is nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Right? <coughs> Should it be? It's comfortable. Oh, you're That's the thing. Yes, y'all. So they said everything in here with the yellow tag on it. See, this is on clearance for $29.99. This whole white dresser right here is a floor model for $150.
They have like a really nice blowout sale with some nice stuff in here for the low. Period. This little mattress right here, forty nine dollars. This right here, hundred and forty dollars. The five piece bedroom set. It says the queen is only eighty, and then the other one is more forty. That's the lady double decimals. The one, two, three, four, five. All that be fifty dollars. This one got sold, and this is the other one. This the other one that I was talking about. The twenty dollar one. For a twin, that's a twin headboard. Nice. And so they do got the sales, y'all. The sales were true that they were talking about. They had some really nice sales. This is really nice for $1,200. Some decent stuff in here, y'all. Really decent. Basically, all this shit is four miles. All right, so y'all, they didn't really have much of what we were looking for. They had the bed set, but where I'ma fit that bed set, y'all? Where I'ma fit that bed set for eighty dollars? It won't fit in here. And then if you get that, it's like you're paying a hundred dollars for them to deliver it in that little truck. So it's gonna be thrown by the time. But all right, that was that, y'all. So now I'm about to take my son to Big Y. He has to use the bathroom. Then we're gonna go to Five Below. Be back. What's up, y'all? So she just went in the bathroom. I just wanted to say what's up. So what's up? 